huge case of imposter syndrome and of course there's a long way to go therapy has really helped <laughs> i think men do <laughs> Little and they get so happy. I'm so pedai hote hain with a bunch of baggage on our shoulder. I'm always, you know, that nerdy little girl. It's about women being in the forefront. Kind of place that I come from, the kind of childhood I've had. You explore yourself, your life. Men also stop mattering so much. This is a life that I never imagined because I love being a woman. But I'm genuinely proud of what I've done for myself. Hello, hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Just Talking. So today I'm going to quickly give an introduction to Dolly Singh, extremely popular influencer, Raju ki mummy, spill the sass. Today we will talk to her about her film. Thank you for coming. Her career, how it took off, the struggles that she had, especially with mental health, lots and lots of things, and yes, about the female orgasm. So let's have a chat with her. How was the film? How has been the feedback? So sex and the city and the girls. Let's talk about sex. So tell me about thank you for coming. I released on October six. The film obviously has those double meaning in windows. It is about trying to find an orgasm, which I think as women we can all relate. We have come to know of orgasms quite late in life, like I personally have. Uh, so I relate with that character a lot. Um, and of course, you know, orgasm is obviously the shock factor here. We are obviously talking about a lot of other layers of you know life situations and just things that women go through. um so it's it was a fun ride you know shooting it and and just promoting it and now the audiences are watching it and the reviews actually have been really good uh shubhra ma'am only gave us such a nice wonderful review yes. um and um, the audience response has been really nice you know everybody who has gone there has really had a riot i've enjoyed the film my all my friends have enjoyed the film so i am right now on cloud 9 because um i've seen my names on reviews which is hard to get you know your name being mentioned separately and saying nice things so i am just right now basking in that you know happiness after the release and having a good release recipe so dolly when uh, jab script aayi um what was the first click ki acha this is going to be interesting i'm going to do this because you're busy with a lot of other things aap in influencer hai aap content creator yeah. hai there are a lot of things happening you went to kan this year but this film particularly what was so enticing about it ki chalo let's do this let's have some fun and your friend is on it also kush kapila so uh, if i talk about the film so initially we did a bunch of auditions i did my first round of auditions which i was rejected for and also i was not very happy with it because it was another best friend role so i have already done a bunch of best friend roles which i was exhausted by so i was not very into it in the beginning which is probably why i was rejected but then they got back to me and they were like you want to try again and we did a bunch more auditions i got a lot more scenes to do then we had chemistry reads with you know my co-actors we tried a bunch of combination with the friends also and then who me uh and then uh, when i was pretty much logged i got the script in hand which was the first time for you know us who do the teeny tiny characters because script nahi milta hame generally utna hi scene milta hai jitna aapko perform karna hota hai and uh, i finally got the script and i think just reading i finished it in like half an hour 40 minutes because it was just so engaging and considering the fact that it's written by two women prashasti singh and radhika anand you could see that it's a women telling it's women telling women stories right and you could you could just relate so hard with everything that was being said the punch lines the jokes everything was wonderful so then i think i got really excited to play the part because the movie the, the script was so tight on paper and i think i personally in my character had an arc and a substantial role which mattered a lot <laughs> so i think that because of that reason i think i said yes to the script nice you started uh, you made your own uh, blogs uh, spill the sass and then you also <laughs> went on to uh, write and create content you you've had a a very very rough road and uh, mm-hmm. you know you really worked is a jute ghisane wala kaam you know you've really done a lot of work and your characters have also been these wonderful very uh, interesting women that you've created out of thin air right so yeah. right, right now also it's girls then there was double excel the film then bhag bini bhag there is this undercurrent of this you know women and girls and feminism is that yeah. also somewhere conscious about your choices that let's talk more about let's put women in the forefront the girls you know dolly yeah. at 15 dolly at 19 dolly at 20 25 and now dolly at i will not say the age so you know uh, dolly at any age uh, do you want to tell your story I, you're absolutely right i this this i think i've grown up you know feminism has come actually quite late in my life 
I did not understand the concept. I didn't fully, I was always like that. I think I want to call myself out. I was a pick me girl, you know, I'm so different, this, that. But now I think when I enter my 20s, I think 20s for a woman are a revelation. You know, you understand yourself more, you discover things, you explore yourself, your life, what you want, what you don't want. Then I think men also stop mattering so much. You know, they become like they go in the background somewhere because you want to work on yourself. Um, yeah. And I think you kind of realize what power women's solidarity really holds, you know, and the friendship, the having good girlfriends in life, it really brings so much joy. Um, and with my content, I think anytime that I've tried to do characters or any sketch, somewhere in my head, I'm always, you know, that nerdy little girl, I think, where I want to give some kind of messaging through my content. So whether it is about feminism, whether it is about, you know, the LGBTQI community or anything that I feel for and I am an ally for, I try to kind of bring it out in my content, whether it's in subtle ways or non-subtle ways. And I think I, I would honestly consider myself lucky that I've been a part of such projects where it's it's about women being in the forefront. I actually never really thought of it when now that you said that Bhag Vini Bhag and Double XL were also similar stories of women taking you know to the forefront and really owning themselves I think that's I, I would say that's pretty cool <laughs> I didn't really consciously do any of it I think those were the roles that like I said these were you know roles that were kind of offered and uh, I auditioned for and I got because I don't get all the roles that I'm trying for but um, I'm, I, I now I feel kind of happy that um, it's this kind of vibe that I'm trying to, you know, settle in. And I love that because I love being a woman and I love uh, just talking about these things. You've grown up with this being bullied. How did you, you know, is it cathartic now looking back that you, you've you overcome all this? It really is. It really definitely is. I think last year I had a huge case of imposter syndrome. I mean, I still have those bouts. But this year in particular, I think I have, and thanks to therapy, I have really owned, you know, whatever I'm doing and the kind of milestones I've hit because the kind of place that I come from, the kind of childhood I've had and everything, the bullying or the not being taken seriously or just being so insecure that you're not even able to voice your dreams out loud. I think for me, just being here and doing whatever I'm doing right now really, really matters a lot. And of course, there's a long way to go, but now at least i'm proud to say that you know i've come a long way and it it wasn't easy and i don't want to cut myself short and i don't want to sound you know that i'm boasting about myself but i'm genuinely proud of what i've done for myself and i i just just want to give you know the other girls they just want to tell them that no dream is too big or too small and especially while being girls we are we generally undermine ourselves more than the society would so I just want to tell everyone I'm that it's possible. That, yes. Yeah, it's possible. And I don't think you should hold yourself back because hum khudi apni mein, you know, chet kar lete hain. we don't let ourselves move forward because we keep thinking about what other people are thinking. So that becomes hard a lot of times. So this self-esteem ka jo issue hota hai, jo gira rehta hai, usko kaise overcome kiya jai? You know, jo bilkul hi hota hai ki, hari, mama kya kengi, papa kya kengi, once you marry, uh, you know, what will your in-law say? Once you have a kid, the kid bullies you on a different level. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's another case. They really do. So, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they do. So, because you have to straddle career, house, everything. So, how, kaise loge, chalo, self-esteem ko udhao? You know, why can't I be as entitled as a man or behave like that? Wow. I mean, uh, I think we don't have as big egos, you know. I think men do <laughs> little and they get so happy and everybody around them is like clapping for them while women can do everything and they're still like, okay, but yeah, it's fine. You can multi Women can multitask. So it's never really considered like a big deal. But I feel like in the last few months, my self-esteem has just come from the fact that that it's not easy like I feel like as women we just forget to understand whatever it is you know when I see young mothers uh, housewives or anybody just doing everything that they do and juggle everything it's insane because right now I'm barely doing those many things I'm handling a career I have a relationship and that's pretty much I have a dog <laughs> that's pretty much it so even then I feel like it's so difficult to just do everything all at once and I'm not saying I'm the only one but I feel like 
women especially need to give themselves some credit as to whatever they are doing and how they are doing it because it's not easy given the expectations we have from the society hum to paida hi hote hain with a bunch of baggage on our shoulders saying ye aapko karna hi hai so we all already carry that and then we have our dreams and aspirations to carry so it becomes sometimes difficult not saying that the men don't have any pressures but i feel like um women have the tendency to not appreciate themselves which i feel like should not be there so self esteem ko badhane ki i think a few ways to first do it is also just to forget that people around you what they say really doesn't matter i really used to get affected by you know like my parents actually got more affected which is why i would get affected of the low kya kahenge syndrome you know where you live for the society you forget to live for yourself and um, so i had to really let that go and get out i think getting out of my town and seeing the big world really helped me because i could see in delhi nobody really care like of course the society has a lot to say but people are also so busy that you know you just work on yourself and um, second thing i think would be to surround yourself with people who genuinely really care for you appreciate you and want to bring out the best in you so i think having some good friends in life has also really helped me because even if i'm feeling low they hype me and you know they tell me of the nice things and they make me believe that everything is fine and last but not the least therapy has really helped <laughs> been very open about the therapy thing uh, you know uh, i'm from a generation where uh, we've kept a lot of things under the carpet still under the carpet and uh, <laughs> i've seen like a film like thank you for coming has come out you've broached a uh, intelligent and uh, much less talk about topic so uh, you know i've seen a lot of people coming out and talking about a lot of things gender gender fluidity sex a lot of issues which is uh, and i don't think so it's restricted to cities i think people everywhere are same kisi bhi kasbe pe chale jao to problem wohi hogi so you think we are open enough are we open to change and are we open to talking about ki i took therapy i took counseling it's okay to go i think we are in a much better place than we used to be like five years back uh, like for example that my mother ha- now knows about therapy is aware of what it does how it helps not saying that she is 100% comfortable with the idea that i get therapy because you know it's still like why do you need it but um, but the fact that she understands what it means i think that goes to show that as a society we are definitely moving forward because people are understanding these concepts whether it is about mental health about belonging to a certain community um coming out being an ally understanding those concepts if not at least you know uh, standing with that um so i think in that sense we are really moving forward and to you know if i come back to the film and the kind of topic we are talking about in the film of course there's a shock factor um orgasm isn't really like the the only thing we talk about in the film but but i feel like some people had reservations about you know us just talking about orgasm or the girls really you know talking about oh so such gandhi cheeze and you know taboos you know topics that you know generally are um reserved for the bedroom or are very hush hush so i feel like personally the kind of response the movie has gotten i definitely would like to believe that we're moving forward and the society is opening to these kind of concepts in general having these conversations um there's a long way to go not to say you know i think there's a variety of responses we've received in that sense but i think people are definitely more open to it now like they don't want to be like ah don't talk to me about this they would at least want to listen to you see what you have to say and how you say it because it's important how you present the topic you can't suddenly be like this is it and this is what i'm going to talk about tumhe samajh mein nahi aata then you're the problem i think we all need to kind of take the society with us and if there is a certain you know obviously like for example if i have to make my mother understand something i'll say it in a way where she may, it's easy for her to understand that not in a way where aapko kaise nahi samajh mein aata aapko padhna chahiye you know like i'm not going to blame her for it because we need to understand there's different backgrounds that people come from and they might take a little more time to grasp uh you know a few things um uh, which is fine i think we need to give you give each other the space but i think uh, even when i talk about tier 2 tier 3 cities i think the kids especially the younger generation now is really aware and they understand all these things and they want to talk about it you know uh, so so now in this world of influencers uh, earlier when you started on idiva you were writing your own content you were churning out 80 minutes of content per week it was tough being raju ki mummy and south delhi girl you know creating this out of everywhere and the sobo girls the soho girls and uh, i will they were really hilarious especially guruji ki jana hai 
tha na all that <laughs> that was that was really nice and we were like tickled by it now that you know you established and have a team does that hamper your creative process so someone who used to do daily diary entries and write on their own how does yeah. it affect your creative process you delegate the team i entrust the team as now does it change for an influencer i um you know just kidding it's very sweet of you to actually notice these things and definitely done some research i'm very thankful for that uh what wonderful <laughs> questions but uh to be very very honest i'm still a one woman team of course i have a management that manages me um you know i have a team of people working you know in terms of negotiations or talking to brands and getting work but when it comes to the creative side of it i'm still the one person team i still write and shoot and edit my content mostly on my own unless you know if I, if it's a brand video i need some nice production and camera and then i call a videographer and make them shoot it but 80% of it is still me uh, you know for all all my organic content is still me doing all of it i think i actually have a hard time delegating work i don't know how to do it um it, my mother used to be like this and i have kind of grown into the same person who is never impressed by anybody else's work and if i especially if i know the work how to do it i'm instead of you know i don't have patience so i'm like you know what i'll just do it on my own give it to me so i have always been this person which is obviously not helping me at this point because at this point definitely i should have a team of you know someone helping me with scripts or someone assisting me and honestly i'm on a look lookout for that um, but at least right now currently i'm still the only person so the style thing you know you were interested in fashion and style and coming on tv ke ya main acting karungi sab kar sakte hai to main kyun nahi kar sakti <laughs> ये कीड़ा कहा से आया ये माँ बाप की तरफ से आया कि आसपास आई थिंक आई वाज ऑलवेज ऑब्सेस्ड विद टीवी माय मॉम यूज टू यू नो वॉच फ्रॉम कसौटी जिंदगी की टू क्योंकि सालवी कभी बहुत ही लाइक दो स्पोर्ट्स पर आवर्स ऑफ टॉप्स एंड वी हैड नो चॉइस बट टू वॉच इट यू नो अब या तो तुम टीवी देखो या आप पढ़ाई करो सो पढ़ाई तो भूल जाओ फिर टीवी देख लेते हैं मम्मी जो देख रही है वही देख लो so i think because of that and there were obviously few shows like shakala ka boom boom and shring you know shararat and all these things where you know any time i would watch child artists i would have this like jealousy in my heart as to why i am not there and uh, i think i huh. always you know i would, you know talk to myself in the bathroom and my mom would scream who are you talking to and i had made all these friends with all the bathroom products and i was always a lonely child also so i think i had my own ways to entertain myself but I think I always some somewhere wanted to act. You know, there was this urge to just um, do fashion and be on TV. Now on TV, I didn't know exactly what is it that I want to do, but I just wanted to be on TV. I wanted to be inside that box. Okay, so you always interested in fashion and TV, and you wanted to be this person in the box, but thinking outside yeah. the box. <laughs> thinking outside the box but i think i was always i'm i'm also the elder kid and i don't come from a family which was you know had too much privileges so i think i was also as as a kid very aware of my situation and the fact that i needed to be realistic about my dreams and study and get a job and you know i was also very aware of the fact that i would probably be married quick pretty soon because all my relatives and everybody used to get married very quickly so i didn't have too many big hopes with this kind of dream i would just daydream about it but i would keep it to that you know i would never really work on it or do something about it it was always this in my heart uh, but now to suddenly see that my life has taken this you know change and this is a life that i never imagined i am honestly thriving at this point and living that dream that i had um uh, but yeah as a kid i i never thought i would you know come this far i was so insecure <laughs> you know i was yeah. watching somewhere and this person made a very interesting comment. that you know at one time there were stars who made a difference like shahrukh khan but now that we switch to ott and we have influencers they call the shots they hold the sway you know yeah. what people will say what they won't say where the votes are going to come from how much is the influencer powerful today i think uh, see at this point nothing really entails being an influencer you, you could become an influencer with anything i think the internet is such a democratic place that you could be doing anything and you could have any sort of talent and it you can find your audience i think that's the beauty of it you know um so to actually become a creator or or an influencer for the lack of a better term i think it's i won't say it's easy but mm -hmm. i i definitely feel like everybody should try it if you want to get into it now of course it does look very rosy from the outside it is not as fun and as rosy um 
and I, and I think the influencers in general, the amount of you know uh, fandom they have reached and the the kind of engagement that they have these days is insane. And the kind of names you've taken, you know, they obviously enjoy. I think celebrities are now you know we we promote movies now, so celebrities are trying to do what we do, or they are trying to collaborate with us because they understand that I think the audiences are now connecting with influencers a lot better. I think there's because it's because there's a personal connect there and you feel like there's a, you know, this person it looks like you, feels like you is relatable so they can talk to us. Uh, with the celebrity, obviously there's a pedestal that they are on. So they kind of feel unreachable and untouchable in that sense. So you can't really connect anymore. And the audiences are very smart now. They're not going to buy a product just because the celebrity says so. I think they want to see the research. They want to, you know, um, so when an influencer does talk about it, I think we 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 obviously show a little more of just like Ye Lelo. You know, we tell you about the kind of properties it would have, how it would help, how it has helped me. Uh, now, of course, there's going to be debates about whether or not influencers are lying or <laughs> saying it as is. Uh, because it's become a huge industry at this point. But I think that the connect is still there. The connect with the audience and the audience connecting with you is still there. And I think that is really helping influencers at this point. So influencers are really a big deal right now. What is, what is your vision now? You know, and I, I go with therapy. Have you overcome your have you overcome your demons now? All the mental health uh, ones. I won't say everything, but I think I'm definitely in a much, much better place. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm not too critical of myself, which I tend to be. Um, I think in terms of what I want to do next, I definitely want to act more. I think acting is something that I uh, realize I enjoy a lot, you know, being on set or doing a script or doing a character like that and, and working with the big team because as a content creator, you get used to working with just, you know, a tripod and camera and that's it. Uh, but to work with a big team and on a set and with people and there's everybody's involved in the same thing and making that one product is is an amazing feeling. Um, so definitely want to act more. I also genuinely want to write more. Um, I think I've also realized in the last few years how much I enjoy writing long form. And since long form content is not really doing as much, uh, I think I want to write maybe a short film. I've written a few things. So hopefully in the next one year, I'm going to make those and, you know, either produce them or act in them or something like that. But those are the kind of things that are in the pipeline. And of course, content is something that has to keep going with this. It's still my number one source of livelihood and I still enjoy making content so much. Um, so that's obviously going to go on. All right. And, you know, in, in these years that you have grown, how do you know that, okay, this is my value and this is what I bring to the table and it's a tough negotiation you're going to have. How do you negotiate the price? Is that somewhere they say women don't drive a very hard bargain? <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, you get your price? No. <laughs> and I'm you get so bad. what you I'm are so owed. bad. I'm so bad at this. But I try to learn from my fellow women. You know, a lot of people I've met in the recent past have uh, really shown me what it is to be to hold your own and ask for your price and, and understand that what you're asking for is, is justified. Sometimes, you know, we... And I find it very hard to talk about money in general. And, you know, I'm one of those people. So I'm really trying to learn about these things. And, uh, but this is where my management comes in. You know, I, I push them forward. And I'm like, why don't you guys talk to me? And I don't have to be on the call. Uh, so right now I'm doing it from the back and hiding. But I definitely, I feel like I know, I, I at least know my worth. I might not be able to tell you and look into your eyes and be like, yes, I deserve this. But I for sure know that I bring a lot to the table at this point. And there's a legacy that I have created of my own so it holds a certain value and I, I'm not going to compromise on that for sure that's great because uh, your management is good because that's how you've been able to buy the house also for your parents well on that note uh, it was lovely talking to you and uh, I'm looking forward to more of your and work on OTT and I hope Bhagbini Bhag is another season uh, does it? I know we is didn't get another season uh no 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 but i think um yeah something else hopefully for me but thank you justin this was wonderful i have to give you uh you know points on your research and everything what a wonderful interview thank you enjoy talking to you also and we'll catch up soon again yeah yes till then so adios. have a great day all right and thank Stay you happy. for coming <laughs> yeah thank you for coming something that we all have to talk about <laughs> women fake it all the time
<laughs> yeah, Men oh have to learn. That's the first. Uh, that's our first acting lesson, you know. Yes, we just <laughs> learn it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.